welcome everyone in our previous videos we have discussed millipore uh, results millipore testing and millipore values uh, in general but in detail in today's video i would like to concentrate uh, the relation between millipore and the automotive industry specifically and the reason for that is since 2020 india has implemented the bharat stage 6 pollution norms that means all the cars that are made now in india need to adhere to stricter pollution norms than before that has made indian made engines at par with any european or american uh, car engines so our indian engines are as cleaner as the european car engines or american car engines but that has impacted the component manufacturers especially in the field of millipore so let's try to understand that a bit and try to recap about uh, the millipore in general also so now uh, very briefly let me just recap what exactly is millipore millipore basically is a uh, quality control measure it's a way of testing or verifying whether the parts that you have machine whether they are clean or not and this is true especially in the case of automotive industry where uh, the car that is assembled is assembled using various components made by various vendors there is no one vendor provide making all the parts for a car so all the parts that go into the car need to be clean up to a certain standard and that standard is set by the car manufacturers themselves so millipore is basically a way of testing and that testing is done using some equipment in which uh, the fluid that is used for cleaning these components that is passed through a filter and that filter is then weighed for uh, to know the par uh, solid particles or uh, any non soluble con contaminants that are there in the fluid and how do these solid contaminants or non soluble contaminants get into the fluid well this fluid is used for cleaning the component and that sample or the fluid sample is taken and tested now in most cases uh, millipore value is a uh, size of the particle by that i mean the filter that is used in performing these tests those are calibrated for example uh, somebody may use a 5 micron filter paper or somebody may use a 10 micron filter paper so the particles that are trapped by these filter patches those are above that level so you know that when you use a 5 micron filter patch the dirt that is trapped by it is higher than the 5 micron size but the millipore value that we get is the weight of the solid impurities in the fluid uh, per liter of that sample so generally the millipore values are expressed in terms of milligrams per liter or that directly converts into parts per million now as i said earlier this millipore value is set by the auto oem that is the car manufacturer and the value will be or may be different for various components that go into the car so it's not a the value is not same across across the board so for example your cylinder head might have a different value your cylinder block might have a different value uh, other components the piston etc will have different values so adhering to these Uh, values is a way of for the vehicle manufacturer to ensure that all the components that are going into the engine are up to their standard so now let's get deeper into why a millipore uh, value is so important there are three main uh, ways in which we can use millipore uh, the first one is to validate your cleanliness processes or uh, we can say that 
any fluid that you use in your manufacturing process it is a way to know whether you are using clean fluids or not so uh, the ideal way is that you you use a fresh batch of uh, fluid for every component that you make but that is just not well uh, advised or it is just not feasible also you can't just throw away the process fluid after every every process or every cycle you have to reuse it but that may up affect the quality of your further components that you manufacture since the uh, fluid that you are reusing will have some dirt accumulated in it and millipore will give you uh, some idea as to whether the fluid is usable for further uh, manufacturing process or you need to discard it another important use for millipore testing is the understanding of the particle accumulation so by that i mean that during your manufacturing process we use a lot of fluids maybe uh, neat cutting oil or coolant or degrease chemicals to clean your components when the component or sorry when the uh, equipment is new everything works well it the problem starts appearing when you use or reuse it over a period of time so when a uh, equipment is out of order generally uh, it results in higher uh, or dirtier components or dirtier fluids so indirectly we are uh, we come to know in quite uh, a cost effective way whether your manufacturing process or any of your machines is not performing up to their their earlier standards so in a way we understand by tracking the trend of particle accumulation in your fluids whether you need to make any changes uh, or take any uh, timely corrective action or you can identify or divide your manufacturing process into various machine cells or machines and then test the fluids that you use in those machines or machine cells and perform the millipore testing and plot the results over time and you will see that if it is a rising trend then there is something wrong with that cell or that machine and you need to take care of uh, of that particular equipment before it completely breaks down so it it does give you uh, a a warning a sort of warning uh, as to whether your manufacturing process is going out of quality control third most important use of millipore values or millipore testing is the uh, production and safety standards that you need to adhere to so by that i mean that you can sort of advertise uh, that you or it becomes your reputation with your customer that all the parts that you send uh, are compliant with the relevant standards so you meet the uh, surface finish values or you meet the tolerance values uh, the components that you make are uh, adhering to the set millipore or acceptance criteria by the customer so it enhances your uh, reputation and your brand value the fourth important aspect which uh, well it is closer to my heart because uh, we face it continuously with our with our customers to whom we provide our filtration systems is that millipore gives the gives our customers a way of judging uh, whether our system is working as promised or as planned so if the filtration system or uh, any tramp oil separation system it is not working properly uh, millipore will give you an understanding of whether uh, the particle build up is happening post filtration as well or post uh, separation of tramp oil as well so it gives you an objective way of communicating with your filtration supplier like us uh, to 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 say whether our equipment needs some fine tuning or uh, we need to replace some parts or 
we need to redesign something from the scratch so all this uh, helps us understand it it gives us a objective way of designing our filtration systems as well so in all there are numerous uh, uses of millipore and millipore testing in the industry and hence it it is a quite a uh, popular way of uh, coming to agreement with with terms of quality and it definitely provide proves to be a good quality control measure so now we have a basic understanding of what millipore is and why it is so important now let's try to understand or analyze the impact of the newly introduced uh, emission norms that is bharat stage 6 on uh the component acceptance criteria that is the millipore values now bharat stage 6 is a uh, like i said a uh, emission control norm uh that it, india introduced in 2020 it was a leap from bharat stage 4 where the emission standards were not as strict or not as stringent as they are now and these norms are implemented throughout india that means any car or any engine that is sold within india needs to adhere to these bs6 bs6 norms now in order to implement these norms uh, engine manufacturers or car manufacturers had to implement or make changes in the millipore values since they those were the acceptance criteria from for the components that they bought from other from various vendors so one of our customer uh, he shared this information with us that he approached us and bought a filtration system just for his coolant for his machining cell just to adhere to the strict bs6 norms so let me explain why so this customer he makes cylinder heads for various Uh, vehicles the millipore acceptance criteria before april 2020 for bs4 vehicles was 10 mg per liter and this has reduced to 1.2 mg per liter so as you can imagine it is a 90% reduction or we can say the customer expects the component to be 90% cleaner when it appears at their doorstep so as you can see why so let us understand why uh, the vehicle manufacturer uh, implemented these strict norms so the basic thinking behind this is that if the components are cleaner the engine will run more efficiently and more cleanly in other words the engine will adhere to the strict or stringent bs6 norms quite easily so implementation of this bs6 is has a trickle down effect on the entire supply chain of the uh, automotive industry so all in all uh, bs6 has introduced stringent norms and we all of us all manufacturers need to adhere to these norms but instead of well complaining about how it is affecting our profit margins let us try to have a holistic understanding of why these changes are important so with the introduction of bs6 norms the air we breathe is going to be much more cleaner hence the temporary reduction in our profit margin is sort of a small price to pay so i hope with this understanding of uh, why of what is millipore and why it is important and what changes the bs6 has uh, introduced in the in these values you will be better equipped to make changes in your manufacturing process and make yourself and your company a more quality oriented uh, entity going ahead thank you for watching
please stay tuned for further videos